This is the third certified visitor from another star system to ever tear through our neighborhood. And it's not orbiting. It's not coming back. It's just passing by. But what makes this one different isn't its speed or its size. It's actually its chemistry. So normal comets from our solar system, the ones that form near the young sun, outgas water vapor, carbon monoxide, and molecules known as carbon chains. These chains are the organic compounds essential for life. But 3i Atlas, it doesn't play by those same rules. A major study reported that 3i Atlas is carbon chain depleted. At the exact same time, JWST data found unusually strong carbon dioxide emissions. And this is the key, rich and carbon chain depleted. So what does this chemistry actually mean? Comets in itself are the fossil records of planet building. They lock in the conditions of their stellar nursery. This combination suggests that it came from a really cold environment beyond the CO2 ice line of its star, or perhaps the more metal poor thick disk of the Milky Way. And we actually just brought back pristine samples from an asteroid right here in our solar system. If you haven't checked out the episode on Bennu, you can look at it here. But thanks to the OSIRIS-REx mission, Bennu tells us the recipe of our own solar system. But 3i Atlas tells us the recipe of another star system. 3i Atlas, it forces us to confront the fact that our solar system is not the only way to build planets. Now,